In this video I'm going to show you how I fixed this uh, electronic picture frame. And it had a real common issue that can happen to any LCD screen and that is um, the inverter for the backlight went out. So any kind of uh, LCD screen, um, be it a, a laptop screen or a computer screen or these little uh, picture frames, the backlight is powered by a fluorescent lamp. This is a compact fluorescent lamp, so is this. And the deal is, um, they have a high voltage inverter that powers them. So either the inverter can go bad or the lamp can go bad. Symptoms of the lamp going out could be a uh, if the picture gets red or it's not lighting. If the inverter goes bad, you might see the picture will flash on and then back off. And then if you look really close, you can see the pictures there. It's just the light is, uh, the backlight isn't there. Now a lot of times the parts, the inverter or the CFL lamps are either unavailable or way too expensive. Um, I found a place where you can buy a set of lamps for an LED screen, but it might be 40, 50 bucks and your inverter may run that too. And you're never really sure which is bad. So that's why I hacked this screen to use uh, an LED strip for the backlight instead of uh, compact fluorescent lamps. I already have it apart, so um, I'm not able to show you the whole take apart. But this is the LCD screen. You can see it's wired up here. And then this is the backlight portion. They have several plastic filter things. The uh, inverter just plugs right in here, so just two wires uh, powering the little fluorescent lamps. This one's a little odd. A lot of times they'll have them at the top and the bottom. It looks like this one has a lamp on the side and the top. So this thing was put together pretty weak. This is actually just a piece of plastic. And it's basically taped on. If we measure this fluorescent tube, you can see it's actually just two millimeters wide. It's extremely difficult to replace these and put new ones in without without breaking them because they're extremely fragile and they are not cheap. Generally these are what go out first. Um, the fluorescent tubes generally uh, have pretty good life but these little uh, high voltage inverters uh, blow out pretty commonly. Here's my LED light strip. I bought it from Hobby King online. Uh, six bucks for a one meter strip of white LEDs. There are 60 of them. It's uh, pre-wired for 12 volts. Over here we're doing 12 volts. 400 milliamps. So as you can see the brightness of these things are pretty crazy. Well, the bad news is that this LED strip is about twice as wide as my LCD screen. That's about four millimeters, and this is eight. So I'm just going to go around two sides like they did, and I'm going to have to cut this plastic down, and I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and just cut this metal off because I don't see any other way to do it.
So it's not perfect. I'd say it's maybe 97% as good as it was. Um, if it's a real light up above, like a skyline, you can see the little LEDs. If the whole picture is dark, you can't really tell at all. Um, but overall, the color and the lighting goes through pretty well.